Hey YouTube, this is a quick video on how to replace the hard drive on your Dell uh, Studio 1537. Um, we're going to be replacing this with an SSD drive. Uh, you can see over there it's the Studio 1537. Uh, so the first step that you want to do is you want to take out your battery and you want to go ahead and press your power button, hold it for 10 seconds, and make sure that your laptop is completely drained of power. Uh, we're going to be replacing it with the Kingston HyperX, uh, which you'll find a link to in the description below. It's the one that I recommend. It's a very high quality SSD, um, and you'll get really good speeds out of it and a fast boot time. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, you definitely do not want to be standing on carpet or anything of that sort for this, uh, because you can actually static shock your components and fry them so be careful with that uh, this should be a pretty easy swap out uh, and shouldn't require too much technical skill for those of you that want to do this at home however basic precautions with computer parts should be uh, noticed do not uh, get the parts wet, do not static shock them in any way, uh, do not uh, scratch anything as far as possible, it is possible to disrupt circuits in that way, so you would be careful, but um, after you've taken out the battery and powered down, what you want to do is go ahead and take off your back cover, which as soon as I can find a groove, Slip my screwdriver into. I need a thinner screwdriver. Give me just one second, you guys. There we go. That one right there should work perfectly. And you should be able to pop your back plate right off. There we go. You want to keep this in a safe spot. If you're worried about it tipping over, if there's any chance of it tipping over, take out all the screws and put them in a bowl like I have here. Uh, however, I'm not really worried about it, so I'm going to go ahead and keep them there. Uh, what you want to do next is, this is your hard drive right here. What you want to do is you want to very carefully pull out the cables. Sometimes this can be tricky. There is a little pull tab on the top, so you want to gently pull on that pull tab until it comes loose. Do not force it in any way. What you want to do after that is take your... You should be able to lift up your hard drive at this point. Nope, you have to take out the four screws. Um, that are holding down your hard drive, which are the ones on the corners. Actually, I believe they might be the ones in the middle. Give me just one second. Find out for you guys. Make sure you put these screws in a safe spot as well. Screw one. Screw two, screw three, and screw four. Now uh, these are the ones that actually hold the hard drive together. I'm now realizing that, so you want to be careful pulling those out. Uh, and you want to take out your screws on the corners. So I will post a note to make sure you guys do this in the right order. So you guys do not screw it up. Um, there's a small chance you could screw it up doing it this way, but uh, I am willing to take that chance at this point. By the way, if you guys do not want to hear me ramble on like I do a lot of times, I would suggest you put on some tunes and just watch the video because it's pretty self-explanatory. Just to make sure you guys understood, um, with this clip right here, you do need to pull it up gently. Do not pull it backwards or anything of like that. I mean up as in towards your face. Um, 
and again, be very careful with it. It's very easy to go ahead and strip it. Grab some pliers to get that screw out just in case. Make sure it doesn't fall over. And let's go ahead and ground ourselves and pull out the hard drive. There we go. There's our hard drive. Once you have the hard drive out, what you will notice is that there's a backing right here, which is actually what goes into the hard drive to convert it to our laptop accessible for format and you want to be careful pushing that out you want to apply even pressure on both sides nice and easy try and pull it out without causing any damage which is sometimes harder than it appears Come on. And I'm actually going to use a small screwdriver to push the edges of this out. And by the edges of it, you can see what I mean right there. Um, there are small grooves where the edge of this adapter actually connects to the drive. And I can only assume that since it's been in there for so long, it's a little bit stuck. Just gently prying on each side. Again, be very careful doing this. And by this point, I should just about be able to push it out. No, maybe not yet. Again, a little bit more prying with the screwdriver. Nice and gentle. Come on. This really does not want to come off, now does it? There we go. This, ladies and gentlemen, is why you do not buy a Dell. A lot of times they are very much known not to use high quality parts, and this is what happens. You get hard drive adapters stuck. Okay, so this is your old hard drive, and let's go ahead and get our mounting bracket off of there and our hard drive out of there. drive is really stuck in there. Go ahead and just very gently push up on it from the bottom. Make sure all your screws are out before you do push up on it. There we go, it should almost be out. There we go. Okay, you just want to pry it out nice and easy. Okay, so once that's done, let's get our new hard drive out here. And again, I'm going to post a link of this hard drive in the description. Um, this is a very fast drive, very affordable. Uh, definitely one of the best ones for the money. Um, I'm also going to post a basic computer repair kit in the description. That way you guys can... Uh, nicely, easily repair your computers without causing harm to them. And here's our shiny new Kingston Hyper S SSD. As you can see right there. Let's go ahead and pull that out of there. And it comes in really nice packaging with a nice little back plate to it to keep it secure. And probably. Yep, to hold our little mounting screws and things of that sort. If you do need them, they're right in there, um, which we do not need. And a shiny, awesome little sticker. Let me go ahead and see if I can zoom in on that. That is a nice sticker that's going on this laptop. Okay, here's our hard drive. What you want to do is go ahead and grab your mounting bracket. Lay it on there. Again, this you want to make sure that you have your regular way out, facing out, which is this right here. You want to have the access ports nice and open. So let's go ahead and slide that onto there, into there. Nice and easy. Should just kind of fall right into place, and then you push it down a little bit, and it should snap right in. 
All right, once that is done, let's go ahead and take our longer screws and thread them into the ports. Um, again, these, actually, sorry, these shorter screws. The longer screws are what holds the SSD to the laptop. itself. Um, the shorter screws are for the SSD to mounting bracket. So let's go ahead and get those get those in there and uh, this is what your shorter screws look like. You guys can see that right there. Hopefully the camera should focus. Those are your shorter screws and let's see if I can get a longer screw in the frame at the same time. Those are your longer screws. The shorter screws, the one on the right, which I'm shaking with my finger, is used to uh, hold the SSD to the bracket itself. So let's go ahead and put all those in. And of course with anything you want to go opposite end. So if I put that corner in, I now want to put this corner in nice and easy. to be careful not to let your SSD slide around or hit anything. Um, same with my extra wires here, but I am not needed to take care of that. So let's go ahead and just finish this up nice and easy. There we go. One more. There it is. There goes our last screw. It goes into the port. Nice and easy. In case you guys haven't figured it out, I think this is pretty nice and easy. Uh, okay, so now what you see here is with your adapter, which comes with the motherboard. Uh, you can see that it comes with the old hard drive. This is our new drive, and you can clearly see where this adapter it's onto the new drive. Let's see if my camera will go ahead and focus for me. Come on, baby. Focus in right here. You can do it. I believe in you. Oh, there's an ant on my screen. Okay, so it's basically going to go in just like that. I don't know if you guys saw that. If you didn't, I will go ahead and post a diagram um, showing the basic configuration, but you want to push it in and very lightly line it up and then kind of angle it in on either side. Uh, if it feels rough, too rough, you're probably putting it in wrong, so giggity. Uh, be gentle, giggity again. Once you're done with that, you want to go ahead and set up your drive in its regular format. So you want to go ahead and drop it in there again, just as I said before, nice and easy. Drop it in. Um, this is actually upside down, silly me. So drop that in. Hard drive down and very gently, very carefully line up your port. Giggity again. Let's go ahead and see if we can get a better camera angle on that. Okay, so we can see our hard drive is in there. You can see the port right there, and you want to go ahead and line it up. Be gentle now. Treat it like a lady. Okay. Should be lined up, and push it down. There we go. A little click will let you know you got it in place, right? And now that we're done with that, let's go ahead and get our mounting screws in. There we go. Screw one is done. Screw two is going in. Be careful not to drop these inside of your laptop. I've lost many, many screws to the inside of a laptop. Uh, and it's very frustrating to try and get them out. Also, if you guys wanted to uh, replace your processor, um, it is located right over here. And you can actually get a very powerful newer processor for this, the T9600, which is 0.88 gigahertz faster. 
Uh, and it has three times the cache to it, or catch, uh, and it's much, much, much faster. It has newer technology. Um, you would replace that. That's your CPU right there, just in case you guys wanted to know. Okay, we're going to go ahead and throw the cover back on our case because everything should be done just perfectly. And you want to slide the notches in it into the groove, which the notches are all along the top edge. You should be able to clearly see them when you're working on your laptop. Uh, and you want to, you might have to push down on it a little bit because they can be a little bit finicky. And then slide it forward and in. There we go. And let's go ahead and start getting our screws in. Okay, screw number one, bachelor number one. You should be able to just slide right in there. There we go. Bachelor 1 is there. Bachelor 2. Let's go ahead and drop our plate down. Line it up. And just kind of basically move the edge of it around. And a little bit of pressure on the edges. It should slide right into place. Bachelor number 2 is being tightened up. Bachelor number 3. Bachelor number four. Bachelor number five. Bachelor number six. Ooh, there's a little annoying moth in my house. Okay, once you're done, by this point, you should be able to plug your battery back in, power up your laptop, and you should be good to go. Now, what you can do with your other hard drive is you can plug it into a desktop computer um, or you can use a cloning software or anything of that sort and you should be able to easily recover the data that is on here. Again, there will be links provided in the description below. Please click on them. Even if you're not going to purchase anything, it helps me out if you click through them. You know, it takes quite a bit of time to make these tutorials, figure out the information. So if you guys could do that, greatly appreciate it. Besides that, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And have a great day, you guys.